What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll be talking about Dimer Batch. This one here includes some recap from my first video last 8 months ago but of course there's a lot more info on this one. Try to watch the whole video because if you miss some parts, you might miss the whole point of the video, it's not going to be that long anyway and after watching, please let me know in the comment section any feedback or any recommendation for a topic. So I studied a lot of clips and done some testings on Blacktop and here are the things that I found out. First one and I think the most important part, there is a big change on the batch. I'm talking about from 2k21 to 2k22. Activation now are shared between Dimer and Post Playmaker Batch. Some types of passes will be under Dimer and some will be under Post Playmaker Batch. Back in 2k21, that was not the case. In there, no matter if it's an offensive rebound or if you're posting up as you pass, that will still activate Dimer Batch. But this year, if it's a pass of an offensive rebound or a pass while backing down, that will activate post playmaker badge instead. It's not going to be Dimer. And by the way, if you don't pass it straight away after an offensive rebound, that will activate Dimer instead. And here, you can see that if you pass it straight away, that will be post playmaker. but if you waited for a bit, that will activate Dimer instead. And in relation to the back down part, it will only activate post playmaker badge if you're somewhere near the paint. This one here will still activate post playmaker badge, that's probably the farthest you can get. And if you stepped somewhere around the 3 point line, that will activate Dimer instead. Next one, now I might say, oh toots, maybe if I don't have post playmaker badge, Dimer will just take over every activation just like before. That's a really good point, I was even thinking about it as well, but it doesn't work like that. If you don't have post playmaker badge, your passes off an offensive board or while well, backing down won't activate Dimer. They don't touch each other, it's like a separate function, and they definitely don't activate together. In here, I took off my post playmaker badge and I kept Dimer. And this sequence here, Dimer still didn't activate. Before we proceed, just want to invite you guys to like the video if liking it so far, and it would be really awesome if you guys can subscribe so you won't miss out on the upcoming videos, and of course, that will help the channel to reach 100k subs soon, so your sub will be much appreciated. And now going back, here are some additional info about Dimer activation. First one, it doesn't need to be a jump shot, dunks or layups will be boosted by Dimer as well. Next one, it doesn't need to be open. In here, you can see that even there's a challenge, badge will still activate. So now I might say, oh toots, in the definition, it says it's only for open shooters. <laughs> so why are you saying that it works on challenge shots as well? I know what you mean, I even noticed that as well. But there's two possible reasons for that. It's either there's a typo error on the definition, or there's a wrong programming on the actual game. Actually, this part here, when in half court is not sync with the actual gameplay as well, because I've been activating Dimer on fast breaks after defensive boards. I can't guarantee this 100% because I'm not the dev, but I think it's just a typo error. I got two reasons. First one, as I mentioned in the first part of the video, there's a big change on Dimer, right? But how come they didn't even touch the definition? It is exactly the same, that's 2k21 and 2k22. I think they just forgot to change it. Second reason, it is much easier to miss typo error than to make a mistake on the actual programming. I don't think they accidentally make it activate on lots of things that it shouldn't activate. Again, these are just smart assumptions, I can't really prove what happened. Next one, the shooter doesn't need to shoot it straight away for the badge to activate. You can even wait for a bit or you can even dribble for a bit and badge will still activate. I know there's an impression that you have to shoot it straight away for Dimer to activate, but it's not like that. In here, you can see that the shooter even dribbled it first before taking the shot and badge still activated. 
but of course there will be a window. If it takes too long, then badge will not activate. And here, I waited for too long and badge didn't pop out. So in summary, the big change on Dimer this year is that it shares activation with post playmaker badge with all those conditions that I mentioned a while ago. And in terms of activation, the shooter doesn't need to shoot it straight away, you can even dribble first before you take the shot. And in terms of type of shots, it works on jump shots, layups and dunks, pretty much everything. So that's all for the video, if you like it, please smash that like button and don't forget to drop by the channel for some other contents and thanks for watching.